my concern about that the industrial part of the in that northwest area is that although there's the policy and rules that can require will require it to be say commercial, this it sort of presupposes that because it's commercial, um, that in fact there will be sufficient mitigating factors to protect, for example, our aquifers, and that you know that isn't necessarily going to be the case. Sorry, are you talking about the mail site or the areas um, one, two, and three in, in the NWRA? I'm talking about both, actually. Right. Mm. I think that the issues we're getting into are, are, are very much to be considered at a future date as part of phase two. And the references made in this document were purely to indicate that, notwithstanding the detail to be worked through at a future date in terms of the zoning and the rules that apply to those areas, they, as they're identified in the land use recovery plan, they, they contribute to the potential future supply of land. And the Minister's comments were in respect of uh, demonstrating there was sufficient and suitable land. And at the point we're at now, the mail site in areas one, two, and three, their identification and alert does signal that there's capacity in the future. But the detail of what activities are permitted, uh, the effects of those activities on the aquifers, is for discussion and decision at a future date as part of the second phase. Okay, so are we, yeah, Yanni. Just the wording on that um, mail site in the Northwest Review, would it not be better to say to be considered for rezoning? I mean, it just make, I, I'm just really, we've heard from the, the, the deputations that they felt that this wasn't being done in an open and transparent manner. They were really concerned about the predetermination, alleged predetermination. Um, and when I read this, I mean, I, I know what you're trying to say, but actually it does seem to give a feel that it will be resigned, whereas I think actually what we want is consideration of resigning. So I don't know if it's possible just to make those slight grammatical changes. Well, I want the same for the North West Review if we can. That's fine. No, the mail well, site is not the North West Review. We, we well, can amend yeah. it. We, we can amend it to, to be considered for resigning. Yep. Good. Thank you. Shall we so, move? So, yeah, we Shall can we move, on? move on now. So, what's the time? It's 25 to 1. Um, 12 30. 12.30. 12.30. I'm just wondering whether we should... The next one's very quick. It's okay. just one issue. <laughs> that's always a, that's a, that's always a high-risk <laughs> statement, Bridget. <laughs> I'm just trying to squeeze through. OK. Good morning, my name is Peter Riemann. Um, I'm just going to cover the strategic directions and introduction chapters where there's no change, and you've already uh, discussed one of those, which was um, the one on page 181 and relating to the central city and other commercial centres. So I'll just um, go page? to the second one, which is on, no, on the page we're going to is page uh, 182. Um, and this no change is actually, um, we've realised that a, a proposed change that we decided at the last minute um, should go in here, uh, didn't get into the final um, table. So uh, there's a suggestion now that uh, in clause 9.1 of the introduction chapter, sorry, I'll go back a minute, uh, uh, state. The paragraphs uh, 16 and 18 talk about the vision, um, which you may recall was originally in the strategic directions chapter, and then it got replaced by something that we call um, strategic outcomes uh, that got put into the introduction chapter. Um, the minister has talked about uh, the um, state mentions uh, the vision statement if retained needs to oh, reference earthquake recovery and more clearly respond to the immediate and long term needs. Um, and what we're suggesting now is that we do put a response to that comment uh, into the proposed plan. And I saw that somewhere else. Where is it? It's not on page 182. It's on... Sorry, the response to those paragraphs 16 and 18 is on 18, page 182. 182. No modification required. Yes, so what I'm suggesting now is that we do make a modification uh, in part to 
deal with the Minister's concerns. Yeah, but I saw that somewhere, and I can't... Didn't I see that somewhere else? Was it, was it um, right at page... Are you in... I'm looking at page 123. Yep. Right in the beginning. Yes. Um, this, this overlaps with... This is a, a um, separate recommendation that came from separate paragraphs. Um, and it does, in part, respond to the same issue that the Minister's raised. So the proposal is that we uh, include both what is on page 123, which is uh, recognising that it is an issue, because um, the clause 3.4.1 that it talks about here is raising it as an issue, along with some other matters that the Minister has raised, but we're also suggesting now that there be an addition put into the introduction chapter under the section on um, uh, outcomes. outcomes, strategic outcomes, which is um, clause nine in the introduction chapter. And the suggestion is to add some wording in 9.1 we just scroll down more. Oh. Up, up. Up. Oh, oh. <laughs> Sorry, next page, the yeah. first page. Which is the introduction to um, uh, the broad issues, you might say, before leading on to the specific strategic outcomes, which is a 9.2. Yeah. <laughs> This is straight from the chapters that went to the ministers. So this is not currently here? It is. No, this is currently here, and the addition that we're proposing to add in a, a, an additional sentence uh, into this uh, section. So what, what's the change? There's no, no change in there yet. Pardon? Just say what, what the change is. The change, uh, if the change could come up, please. No, we won't have the change. Ah, oh, right. Yes. So the, the change is highlighted there under... Create a document that is responsive to the post-earthquake environment, that is responsive to community needs, and provides regulatory framework that facilitates... Development and good environmental outcomes. No, no, it was just uh, the minister. It was that sentence that I read out, which is probably as close as you got to any um, indication of what sort. But it was uh, the vision statement, if retained, needs to reference earthquake recovery and more clearly respond to the immediate and long term needs. The immediate and long term needs. Yes. That's where I go back to the stuff about Life Mart and uh, Homestar. That is visionary. It's, it's about future sustainable housing. So there's a kind of incongruence in all these comments that we've been asked to be visionary. We are. Yet yeah, they want those bits taken out. No, 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 no. no. They're, but they're talking about adding things. So, so that, read, that, read what the Minister wants again. The vision statement, if retained, needs to reference earthquake recovery and more clearly needs to provide... Sorry. Right, sorry, and will clearly respond to the immediate and long-term needs. Okay, so um, can we change the word document to plan? Yeah. So create a plan yeah. that is both responsive to the post-earthquake um, environment and... Uh, long-term community needs. Yeah. Is that what he wants? Uh, well, yep. For, and, the and the yes. Long -term. yes. Well, that's what the post-earthquake environment is the short-term, short -term. but anyway, that's yep. all right. I don't mind spelling it out. <laughs> that is both the immediate and long-term <laughs> both response. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that is both responsive to the post-earthquake environment and um, the short-term and long-term um, community 
or needs of the community. Oh, the God. Yeah, sure. Needs of the community. Yeah. As well as providing... <laughs> um, mm, that's uh, good. A, a regulatory framework yep. that facilitates development and good environmental outcomes. Yep. yep. Thank you. Right. Um, is it, could it be better word if we just if we say that it's responsive to both? The, it is responsive to both. Okay. Yep. Responsive to. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. One, two, three. Put a comma after the beginning. Yep. Uh, the officers or officer reasons and the recommended revision of the wording, um, there's much made in the. The officer, is this a document? I'm just thinking, in the officer reasons, there's no mention of beyond Christchurch. It seems to be just about the city, and yet the wording doesn't convey that, which is what we want. We want, because that's the criticism, is that it's more broad. Does it matter that we, should we be altering officer reasons or suggesting a change? I'm just thinking, hinder the recovery of Christchurch and beyond, or Christchurch and, um, Sorry, or it doesn't matter? The recommendation for Clause A includes um, mm. the timely recovery of Christchurch is critical, not just for... The, no, 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 I'm not talking the, about the, the wording's fine, the but I see a disconnect between the reasons and the wording. Now, that just might be absolutely unnecessary, even mm. raising it, but I just... The, in the Office of Reasons, I don't see any reference to oh, okay. wider yes. Christchurch. It's, even if you put the recovery of Christchurch and beyond just to show that yep. that's why you're... It's just a... Yep. Clarify in that same page, um, in the recommended revision of wording, it doesn't really sort of tell us anything that isn't actually just already known. Mm. So we're the second largest city in New Zealand. Mm. Mm. So is the gateway to the South Island the most significant economic centre in South Island? So mm -hmm. what? Um, so a timely recovery is critical, yeah. But what does that look like? Because this only refers to economics. Um, and so that is measured in GDP. So the more building that we do, the better, according to this. But okay, this this is just uh, an issue statement. So it's not actually saying what we're going to do about it. And that's what the provisions of the plan. Uh, you're just really appeasing. So, so, so we're just the minister was just yeah. asking that this issue be highlighted. Highlight it. Highlights it. I, don't, yes. I don't mind. No, it's okay. Yeah. It's really just taking the opportunity to say yes to the yep. points. I'm just a bit confused. So we're on page 123 now. We've yes. gone back from 182. Uh, well, actually, we were trying to stick to <laughs> yeah. the areas where the officers have recommended no change. But then you um, sneaked in one that had a change hidden. Yes, yes. we did. Yeah. <laughs> so this is your fault, Bridgie. <laughs> I told you when you said this won't take long. Long, yeah. <laughs> I put my hand up. I take it. So, I just think, like, having the short-term and the long-term needs of the community, like, that's actually really, that, that's quite a contradiction. Um, well, there, there's a lot of well, short-term stuff. it's a balance, stuff. actually. It's so, not a contradiction, it's a balance. Mm. You try and achieve a balance. And, um, and what's, that's actually what we've tried to do in this document. And admittedly, you know, it is, it is one that we're doing under a truncated process, but it's a truncated process we asked for. So, you know, I think it's important to remember why we're doing what we're doing. But it's also no different to what we're required to do under the purpose of the Resource Management Act anyway, yeah. where we have to provide for current and future generations. I just wonder whether you wanted to add the words uh, facilitate sustainable development, because I thought sustainable development is one of the key features of the RMA. Some of the stuff that we have to do, like short-term housing, will not be sustainable. But it says good environmental outcomes. Mm -hmm. I mean, why do we need to add in words? Mm. I just think it's fine. Because the way it gets applied, these words are actually really critical. Yeah, and, and good and environmental happens. outcomes means good environmental That's outcomes. Right. And, and Perhaps just remind councillors where this all came from. We had it in the strategic directions chapter, which was a statutory chapter, and we took it all out and put it in chapter one, yep. which is an information chapter only, exactly for the reasons yeah. Councillor Johansson is raising. Good yep. point. 
which makes us focus very much on the objectives and policies and not this fluff, for want of a better word. <laughs> Not having a resource consent notified. But that's what's anyway, just been so said. We'll Chapter one is an introduction. That's it has fine. no we, legal we, effect. We, yeah. So, is there is, is there anything else? To, I mean, I could stop lunch, for lunch at between. If you could get the next little bit done in ten minutes, I'll stop the meeting at <laughs> one o'clock. Well. I hesitate to say it, but I think we could. We'll um, give it a go. We'll give it a go. Give it a go. I'm That's stopping right. the I'm stopping the meeting for lunch at one o'clock, and we're only going to take half an hour. Thank so, you. So yeah, sorry, so David. Your next.